Up to half a million people have been urged to evacuate their homes in Florida as Hurricane Michael approaches. The Category 4 storm is packing winds of up to 145 miles an hour and could produce waves 13 feet high when it makes landfall later today. President Trump has declared a state of emergency in Florida with thousands of troops deployed to prepare for the hurricane's arrival. John Donison reports. Hurricane Michael is whipping towards Florida with full force. Sustained winds of more than 130 miles an hour. In parts of the state, there's already been severe flooding and forecasters are warning of a possible four metre storm surge. Businesses have been battening down the hatches. Evacuation orders have been issued to more than 300,000 people and for many, it's a case of pack up and get out. If it was just the adults, we would have rode it out, but, you know, got to be safe since they're with us. Long traffic jams have formed as people head inland. Fuel is running low and supermarket shelves are emptying. This is the last thing we were picking up was just extra water. Usually busy holiday resorts are practically deserted, but the authorities are warning people not to take chances. You cannot hide. There is no way to hide from storm surge. It's impossible. So get prepared and get out if an evacuation is ordered. Every family must be prepared now. Some, though, are determined to stay put. The media uh, sometimes gets things a little bit, you know, crazy and, you know, people jump and run and, you know, and they should do that. Uh, but we've just been through so many that we're comfortable staying, so we're going to. And we've got enough food and uh, generator, gas, so we'll be just fine. Satellite images show the scale of Hurricane Michael as it tracks north. It's already reportedly left more than a dozen people dead in Central America. This is not what you'd hope for on a Caribbean cruise. But this ship on the way to Cuba got caught up in the storm, forcing passengers to ride it out. Back in Florida, emergency services are bracing themselves for a difficult 24 hours. Reinforcements have been brought in from as far away as Pennsylvania. The worst of Hurricane Michael is still to come. John Donison, BBC News.